You won't believe this. PS3 games are now running on Android, and it's getting better every day. Yes, you heard that right full-fledged PlayStation 3 titles like God of War, GTA V, and Dragon Ball are now playable on your phone. This isn't some fake video or clickbait scam. It's 100% real and fully working. The magic happens through APS3E, the revolutionary PS3 emulator that's not only free, but now getting regular updates directly from the Google Play Store. No shady websites, no risky APKs, just smooth, optimized performance that keeps improving. Mobile gaming is about to change forever, so buckle up, because I'm about to show you how this emulator is crushing boundaries and making console-quality gaming a reality on Android. As you know, APS3E is available on the Play Store, and if you search for it, you'll find two versions one is completely free, and the other is a premium version that costs around $5 USD. But here's the thing, there's no technical difference between them. The premium version is simply there as a way to support the developer through donations. Now sometimes users can't find the emulator on the Play Store, or maybe you don't have access to it. But no need to worry, because it's also available on GitHub. Just head over there and download the latest release directly from the official GitHub repository. Simple, safe, and always up to date. Now let's talk about the setup process, which has also been updated. The new setup looks very similar to Nether SX2 or Ether SX2. First, the emulator gathers basic information about your device, and then it auto-configures itself for the best performance. As you know, to play PS3 games, you must install the PS3 firmware. This firmware is officially provided by Sony's PlayStation 3 website. It's open source and safe to download. So go ahead and get it from the official Sony site, select the firmware file in the app, and then click Next. One notable thing here, it doesn't take too much time to compile the firmware like RPCSX. That's really good. Now you'll be asked to select your game directory. Your games should be in ISO format, and the app will automatically scan and load them. You can also install games in PKG format, which I'll show you later. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. Next, it'll prompt you to select a font file. I highly recommend choosing the firmware font file to avoid any potential issues or crashes. Enable Use Custom Driver, then select the custom driver path from your phone storage. I'm using Adreno 819. Unfortunately, non snapdragon Dragon users won't be able to take advantage of this feature. Finally, click the Finish button. The APS3E emulator will now automatically apply the best configuration for your device. Don't worry, you can still change the settings manually later if needed. You can now see all your games in the game library. If you click on the three dots beside any game, you'll get more options to fully customize the emulator. You'll find a Refresh button, an option to install firmware, and the ability to install PKG files one by one, although this method is time-consuming. Some titles may also require additional decryption keys, so make sure you have those if needed. The virtual keypad has also been updated. You can now easily move and resize the keys to your liking. However, I personally think the default key mapping is already perfect for most games. Head into the settings menu under core settings. Using recompiler LLVM is perfectly fine for the PPU decoder. For PPU threads, you should check your phone's thread count in the system info. These settings can significantly improve performance, but if you're not sure what to change, just stick with the default values. Now let's talk about the most anticipated update, video settings. Here you can choose between OpenGL and Vulkan as your rendering API. If you've used APS3E before, you'll notice that the options look the same, but there's a smart visual touch whenever you enable a setting, its color changes to purple. This makes it easier to identify which settings are currently active. If you're running high-end games, consider lowering the resolution to 720 by 480 for smoother gameplay. Set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. The frame rate can go up to 120 frames per second, but I recommend keeping it on auto to maintain overall stability. Also, set shader processing to low to avoid crashes and instability, and enable both right color buffers and right depth buffers to fix graphical glitches. Enable V-Sync to eliminate screen tearing, and turn on stretch mode for full screen gameplay. Unfortunately, the resolution scale option is locked, which means you can't change it manually. Still, the current implementation is helpful for low-end devices. There are many more advanced features under the Vulkan settings section. One important option is VRAM allocation, which lets you decide how much of your device's RAM should be used by the emulator. 
For example, I have 12 gigabytes of RAM in my device, so I selected 6 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes for the emulator. You need to leave some RAM for the system UI and background services, so don't allocate too much. You should also enable the performance overlay option to monitor your game's performance in real time. This will show frame rates, GPU load, and other important stats. As for the remaining options, they are already well optimized, you don't need to change them. Lastly, they've added a very helpful feature called Reset to Default. This is especially useful if you've messed up the settings and want to revert everything quickly. So, that was a full demonstration of the APS-3E emulator. If you think the developer deserves a donation, you should purchase the paid version. Consider it a way to support the developer and help them continue improving this project. If you can't purchase it, then share this video and spread the word. Let's help as many people as possible discover APS-3E. This is a great time to appreciate the hard work and dedication the developers have shown. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more emulator updates and gaming content.